Hello YouTube, it's Krosama. And here we have today is the SD Build Divers RX Zero Maru. Uh, and this is Ayame's mobile suit, the waifu of the series. So that is it, that's put to rest. She is waifu, case closed. So anyways, the unboxing of this kit has me kind of curious uh, because a lot of prototype images I've seen in the past I didn't see a lot of color. Uh, it looked like this thing is going to be riddled with stickers. So, um, you know, I'm kind of curious. I haven't peeked at the stickers yet. Uh, definitely want to see exactly how many stickers we're talking about here. So I kind of already have my paints at the ready because I do feel as if um, this is going to be a very sticker heavy kit. All right, so looking at the front cover art, everything looks pretty cool. You get like kind of a, a nice little silhouette of the uh, the real grade mode. I'm pretty sure that's what they still call it, is like the real grade mode or real type mode. Um, but that looks pretty cool. Um, I, I liked it in the show. I don't know how well it's going to carry over in the model form because uh, I did build the like, uh, what was it, the uh, Star Winning Gundam. And I was not very impressed with that one. So hopefully this thing is going to be a vast improvement. Now this is going to use the cross silhouette frame. So with that, it's instantly going to be better than most SDs because it's going to have greater articulation, and it just I think overall looks a lot better because it's a it's basically a ninja uh, unicorn Gundam, and I do not mind that at all. I think it looks pretty cool. So it's kind of like in this like permanent destroy mode uh, kind of like um, look with the shoulders and the chest and all that, uh, and then the V fin like the little face mask is going to come down, so it has like kind of a unicorn mode. Um, so it looks pretty cool. I'm pretty pretty awesome about this. I like nin I like ninja mobile suits uh, anyways, so this is pretty cool. And you can get that bird mode that basically is going to be all the limbs and uh, different weapons and accessories for uh, the Zero Maru. And this was released in 2018. Retails for 1,800 yen. And is number 13 in the Build Divers line. All right, so looking right here on the side, it says the various armaments and transformation gimmicks allow for a multitude of action poses. So this looks pretty dope. Um, I, I do like these poses. Uh, I'm not really too keen on like the unicorn mode, uh, which they call it, I can't really see it. Uh, it's ha Hakure form, yeah, Hakure form. I'm sorry, I got, like, even though I got glasses on, like I'm still kind of like blind. Uh, and then it's the uh, Shinobi form, which is more likely going to be the form uh, that's just default for me. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just keep it in that form. But I'll definitely show showcase the one in the uh, har uh, Harare form. Is that what it was called? All right, so looking at the accessories, you are going to have the ni uh, Ninja Toe, uh, which is basically going to be a little blade right there. And then you're going to have some kunais. I know you get two of those, and you're going to get these like little effect parts all down here. And you're going to have the Shield Shuriken, so that's going to be pretty dope. Um, then coming over here, you're going to have the Armed Armor Hattori, uh, which is just bird. That's pretty much all it is. Uh, and then over here is the uh, Ninto Do. Um, I guess that's just the mode it's called is the uh, Nintendo and it just kind of has like the beam uh, Zambato and uh, I'm about to butcher this <laughs> Teko uh, no. Teko Kagi Teko Kagi yeah let's go with that so looks pretty dope uh, pretty excited about that but I, I don't know I think the sword just looks kind of goofy like it it's obviously a beam rifle right here and then it just kind of goes into the uh, the flame sword effect so that looks pretty weird and then right here you see that the lion mouth mask uh, basically mounts on the chest but it can also be uh, mounted on the face and then over here just kind of like you know trying to advertise all the different um, force build divers that you can go ahead and get so if you want to get uh, any of these kits um, I reviewed all of them except for the Momo Kapool I'm not too into that one so um, I'm definitely not buying that but any of these I did review on the channel so if you want to uh, look at those you're more than welcome to do that over here you get a front and rear shot and you get some information right here so you can go ahead and pause that if you like all right so taking a look at runner a2 there is no a runner a1 so a little bit confusing but oh well but uh let's go ahead and take a look at runner a2 uh so everything looks pretty good um you know it's just a nice red it's almost like a gloss uh so i think it looks pretty dope um you can obviously see this is pretty much the uh cross silhouette frame that's all this really is uh i mean kind of one of the big giveaways uh is kind of like these little letterings right here on the chest i don't know if you can go ahead and see that but that's a clear indication that this is the cross silhouette frame 
All right, next we got Runner B. So this is gonna have a lot of the gray right inside here. Uh, so you got the, like, the kunais, you got the, like the little rifle, backpack, feet, and this giant long, I guess this is the sword part, uh, or you know the bird body. Uh, so a lot of this white is gonna be over here, and you can obviously tell like a lot of these uh, parts on the inside is not gonna be colored red. This is something that you're gonna have to paint yourself. So I'll go ahead and I'll show you the colors I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, at the end of this. But you're also gonna have some little ninja-like hands right there, which are pretty damn cool. Uh, some feet parts, and then obviously you're gonna come down here to the gold, uh, which doesn't really look too bad. It's not as bad as like the, um, the gun on Phoenix. Uh, this is like more glossy uh, gold. It's actually very, very glossy if you kind of see that. Um, but it looks pretty good. You get the face mask and like kind of the feet and the little V fin parts right there, and uh, another little V fin part for like that, uh, that little real, real tight mode. All right, next we're gonna have Runner C1. Uh, so just gonna be mostly all, you know, pretty much all white parts. Uh, you're gonna have the uh, katana right there. You got like the little bird head. Uh, you got some like, uh, this is like arm parts right here. You got parts for the shoulders, the waist, legs. Uh, there's gonna be more leg parts right there. But overall, you're definitely gonna have to go ahead and paint in some of that red detail right inside there. But it doesn't really look too bad. There's a lot of good uh, places for panel lining. And overall, the, uh, the quality of plastic is pretty damn good. All right, next is gonna be runner C2, which is just gonna be an extension of C1 when it comes to these parts right here. And then we got D1, D2, so this is D2 right here, which is just going to be this part. Uh, but you are going to have the uh, shuriken right here, you're going to have this little blade part, which also acts as, as the scarf. Um, I don't know what this part is, it looks like it's parts of the waist, I'm not too sure of. Uh, and then you're going to have, this is more parts of the scarf, this looks like it's going to be for the waist. Uh, this might be for the body, body, uh, and then these are just kind of like the, I think this is the knee if I'm not mistaken, or yeah, this should be the knee. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much about it. It's gonna be for like the kunai. So red looks pretty good, and uh, that's pretty much about it for all the runners. All right, this is the this is the sticker sheet, guys. This is this is atrocious. Now, the red doesn't look bad. I'm, I'll, I'll give it to I'll give it to them. The red stickers are not that bad. But man, all these gold stickers, and they obviously loop around uh, curved edges, so I don't know if you can see it that well, but yeah, these are going to curve around many, many edges. Um, so if I was y'all, you know, I, this is what I'm doing. I'm painting all this. Uh, the only thing I'm not going to paint is going to be these eyes right there because I am not good at making like th that right there. Like, I'll go ahead and I'll paint this. Um, this is not really necessary because I'll probably never use it, but I'll probably paint the little parts because those come in two different parts uh, or one part that goes underneath um, all the black. So I'll paint I'll paint uh, this part. I'm going to go ahead and use a sticker for this. And that, that's probably going to be the only sticker I'm using is going to be this top uh, eyes. And everything else, I'm painting all this. But just letting y'all know, this is going to be your sticker sheet. And as for the manual, well, nothing really too special here. So you're going to have some nice little color right inside there. Um, nothing really too special. It kind of just shows you the transformation, the weapons, and that's fairly pretty much about it. So a lot of the regular. Um, black and white stuff right inside there. Nothing really looks too difficult. Uh, this shouldn't take no more than a day because it's just, it's just not that many parts. Uh, but with all the painting and details I'm going to do to this, it might take a little bit longer. So hopefully tomorrow uh, I am going to Hiroshima just to go ahead and grab some uh, supplies. Uh, but this really shouldn't take me more than a day. So when I get back from Hiroshima, uh, I'll start working on this immediately and I hopefully should be done by tomorrow night. But I know I kind of make uh, I don't make the deadline that often, so if not tomorrow, then maybe Sunday. But let's go ahead and wait and see. But that's it, guys. So that's it for me. If you want to go ahead and read uh, this right here, you're definitely more than welcome to. Uh, but that's it for me, guys. Um, actually, actually, one more thing. I actually forgot to mention the paints I'm going to use. So I'm going to go ahead and use Mr. Color or Mr. Metallic Color uh, GX for all the gold. So it's pretty nice gold. Uh, so this is what I'm going to use for all the, those little gold pieces. And next I'm going to use Mr. Color. This is going to be Red Matter. So this is a pretty nice red and I just figured this would be good for those uh, inner frame parts. 
Next we got German Grey, so whatever, there's a couple of gray stickers, so I just decided I'm gonna use German Grey for those stickers because that was like the closest I can go ahead and get without mixing colors uh, to get to that actual color accuracy. And then I got Mr. Color Fluorescent Green. Uh, looks pretty good, so it's pretty much gonna be for the eyes and all the other like green sensors and uh, cameras and so on and so forth. And lastly, I'm gonna be using navy blue because it was, that's not the color right there, but uh, I'm using navy blue because uh, there was a part that looked, it looked black, but I was like, I think black might be too strong. So uh, navy blue is actually like pretty damn close to black. So I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, and use this. But that's it for me guys. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, just be sure to go ahead and uh, ring that bell for future notifications, subscribe if you like these type of videos, and stay tuned for the next review as well as some pose videos that are going to be coming up uh, down the pipeline. And um, next weekend I'll be in Tokyo, so I'm going to try and push as many videos as possible and also try and schedule some. Um, so Thursday I should be leaving that morning, if not I think I'm leaving maybe Wednesday night. But I will be in Tokyo and I'll be uh, meeting up with a uh, pretty special guest. So other than that guys, uh, definitely thanks for watching and I will see y'all in the next review. Bye bye.